this bread fruit is going places. And I know you and I, we're going to enjoy this when we make this, uh, this bread fruit cuckoo. It's going to be interesting. <music> How are you? Welcome to, to this time and to this season. Uh, the season in Africa is every season. I will tell you the truth. Every season you can plant. Uh, so this evening I'm planting something uh, called uh, breadfruit. I don't know if you know about breadfruit. I remember my mother when we were young, she used to cook uh, breadfruit. And if you are from Caribbean, you know, breadfruit is very good. You know, you can boil it, you can roast it, you can do anything that you want to do with it. And most especially with cuckoo. I don't know if you know about cuckoo. I had it when I went uh, with my wife, you know. It's, it's very, very, it's very, very beautiful. You know, when they cook it and it's so nice, it tastes so good. You know, if you are from Caribbean, give me your own comment. I'd like to hear uh, about, uh, about breadfruit, your own experience about breadfruit, what you use uh, it for what you cook it for or what you had with it but this evening i'm transplanting a breadfruit that's what i'm doing so i have it in this in this bucket so the best thing is for you to cut it from under but that's thing because if you try to remove it you're going to uh you're going to break it because the root is right here so you have to be very very careful and the best thing is to get a a, a knife like this and with that knife you can just cut it from under here so make a hole around, then you slice it through, then we can remove it. So I'm going to carry you through that process. So this is what I'm doing this evening uh, to make sure I get it out. So I'm trying to make sure uh, I be careful, carefully getting it. Because it's not, it, you, you got a knife, you know, this uh, this small knife. Because you have to do it that way, so you don't, at the same time, cut the the root you know this 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 has it does not have a fibrous root it has a tap root so when it really grow so you can see what we have here you can see what we have here these ones so see that i mostly preserve everything you see that is it that's why it's good to cut it out that way if i just uh do like pulling out i will yank many you don't want to do that so you got to be careful when you do this transplanting so this is one thing you see what i did i see that how neatly it is cut you can see that i did not lose any of the roots everything is still intact so after that with this utility knife then you can now use your scissors so i have the scissors i brought from the states uh these scissors i use it to cut anything so this one we easily cut it out so then you come to this side you just go one side first that's what I'm doing go one side first see I got I got everything right there you can see that mostly everything is preserved so you can see as I was saying I try as much as possible to preserve uh, the roots you can see that's why I use this this uh, cutter to just cut it through I just cut it on that on one side at times you can cut it on two sides to make it easier for you whatever works for you so now I prepare this you can see my soil I prepare this one the height is about 20 20 to 22 centimeter and this one is about 30 35 centimeter the hole that i prepare so before i put anything in to make it home so you can feel at home you know you make make pushing it for it and get some uh some manure inside so that manure is all the manure that i prepared uh homemade pre homemade uh manure that i prepared i'm going to put it in there then i go to transfer my cuckoo and it's going to be beautiful i, I can't wait so so that is just the thing so i'm now let me get my uh let me get some of my manure and then i'll be i'll like to get some 
You just need an handful. You don't need, you don't need too much. Just an handful of it. Yes. Just an handful of it. You just because you don't want to put too much in the beginning, and you just watch it, watch it closely. How it is. So now I'm I'm gonna transfer it. You have to be very careful for this transfer. You can see. Aha. So when you place it in, one thing that's very important, anytime you place a plant in, one thing is very important, you want to soften the soil so they can easily come out because they are being confined. Excuse me. It's a dirt anytime I had. So they are being confined in that place. They used to be in that box, so they are used to it. So what you want to do, you want to soften the soil a little bit around it so they can know that they can now come out of their uh, uh, of their enclosure so that is it so what she, see me see what i'm going to do uh I'm going to do like this but be careful when you're doing it at the same time so you make sure you don't uh break any any of the any of the any of the root so i'm losing it so i'm losing it see after losing it, so I have it that way in that place. So with that, it is planted. So what I want to do with this plant is, I'm going to put another, a little bit, other one around it. Uh, I'm going to put some other manure around it again. So at least to, know, to make sure that you got everything that you need down or up. So I'm going to get myself another handful of manure, just a second. Uh, because it's very important to take care of it and you give you quality thing nothing but the quality don't go and buy you know don't go and waste your money to buy all this chemical and start spraying the, your stuff because you want it to be looking so good it's not good if you're deceiving trying to deceive anybody you're deceiving yourself so don't fool yourself Make sure the food, your leftover food, you start piling it in this in this place. Maybe a, a, some dirt. You dig and you put it there. You put it there. Let it man know. You fill a hole. You move to the next one. You fill a hole. You come back there after a week. You get that thing. You put this thing together. Good for you. It's your own food. So don't don't just go around. And make sure you make your own compost. You put your things together. Your leftover food. Dig a place, make your own compost. That one is filled, dig another place, make your own compost. Always make your own compost. And those composts, when you turn those soil and bring it together, you're gonna to have something so good. And you know that this is your thing, you make your things. That what you plant is what you eat. Very, very important. So creating your own compost is very, very good. So after that, then I can put some soil, some soil around. And then you can try to hold it down. <laughs> it's good. So you see the way I, I left this place, this ditch. I left this ditch open this. I let it, I, let, I lower it. So uh, so when it's, it's it's not raining, I can just uh, uh, wet it by myself. Put the water in it by myself. So I leave it that one. And then you see this hole that I created. In case it rains and you have excess water, it can just go through this hole. It's very, very important. So this one can go through this hole that I've created if you have excess water. If it's not raining, I'm going to have it this way. But now I'm going to get a stick uh, to make sure I safeguard this so it's not running around because of the wind because it's still, it's still young. So next time when you watch this video, you're going to see that this one is already supported. So I'm going to support this and make it, uh, make it straight. So because now it's still, it's still feeling this way. Maybe this is the way it was uh, when it was here. So now I'm going to straighten it and make it shift. So when all this is set and done, I'm going to invite you guys for a breadfruit cuckoo. 
and when it's done, you're you going to be invited. Are you ready to share that with me? Sit at the table and we share that breadfruit cuckoo. It's going to be lovely. Ready. You're going to tell me if you want us to fry it, if you want us to cook it, if you want to, whatever, you want to do smoke it, okay, we're going to love it. It's going to be important. My guys, I'm here for you. Yeah, you can see I finally did it now. I was able to support it uh, because it's still a baby. Uh, being baby in the sense that I just transport it, uh, uh, locate it to another uh, place. It's another location. It's a new home. So I have to support it because of the wind and everything. I see the way I did it uh, because it was going this way. So I have to hold it this direction at the same time, safeguard it to let it grow as I balance it. And I already have this one already made for the water. So I can just water it manually by myself uh, in case there's no more rain. If it's raining, then rain can just uh, fill this place up and there's an outlet that I made for the rain. Right here, there's an outlet for water to go. But you, I, you can see uh, this breadfruit is going places. And I know you and I, we're going to enjoy this when we make this, uh, this breadfruit cuckoo. It's going to be interesting. Love you. Catch ya. Bye.